Vai pisnaksil, is quiz charis. Apna kena la or so kleishen is umlauks so kleishen. Or sha apna kin chatuk kom. Um hello everybody, I'm Jordan Koval. I'm uh, here at what we refer to as Mountain Goat Rock. Uh, in our language is so kleishen. So when I was introducing the space, so umlauks is the name of this place. The name of this place is called Mountain Goat Rock, and so I'm going to share the chapter that goes with this particular rock. So, a long time ago, there was an old goat and a, and a young goat, and there was they had a nice big herd of of mountain goats, and uh, the young goat was kind of getting bored of old goat kind of ways and didn't really want to be around too much longer. And you know, the young goat was kind of a good-looking goat, and so he rounded up a bunch of female goats and was like, "Hey." When old goats go into bed tonight, let's go sneak off and go make our own herd. And all the young goats were like, oh, okay, that sounds great, let's go. And so he grabbed them and took them all the way over from uh, Summerland area and piled them on and trekked over the, the mountains and came this way. The story goes though that uh, it was a long journey for a lot of those 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 female goats and they were kind of getting upset that a uh, young mountain goat wasn't really being respectful to them. He was kind of hurrying them along, not letting them rest, not letting them sleep, not letting them eat, not letting them drink. So as they kind of came along, you know, they're one by one, some of those mountain goats would peel off and go back home to the old mountain goat. And so when they got back, they told the old mountain goat what happened and he had already kind of caught wind of what was going on as he noticed that his herd was kind of dwindling. He started making his way over and young mountain goat was kind of still hurrying the other goats along and they came across what uh what's known today as smith creek in our language is called tan yolk and tan yolk comes from this story it refers to being so thirsty when you're so thirsty and you have nothing no moisture left in your throat and you got a kind of sound and it kind of feels yucky in there so it was referred to as tan yolk because all those mountain goats were getting all thirsty but that young mountain goat didn't let them stop and drink and rest up or do anything he kept hurrying them along let's go let's go let's go let's go we gotta get to Mount Bushery. That's where we're gonna establish our herd. Eventually, they got to this point right here. And this is when old mountain goat finally caught up to all those other goats. And so young mountain goat and old mountain goat had a bit of a tussle. You know, old mountain goat explained to him, he kind of beat him up a bit and kind of explained to him what had happened, what he did wrong. He said, you know, breaking off a herd isn't, isn't the worst thing in the world, but there's a way to do this. There's a way to talk about it so that we can support one another. We can be a, still like basically a, a mountain goat community, but we have to talk about it and support one another. He says, I also heard that you were being really mean to all the, all your female goats here, you know, let, not letting them drink, not letting them rest. And so he says, I got to teach you a lesson. So from that point on, old mountain goat turn young mountain goat into this rock to serve as a reminder that moving forward a couple of things first we have to be respectful to our community we have to be respectful to those who aren't uh, maybe as fit and as able as us and making sure that when we move forward with life move forward as a community we're bringing everyone along with us allowing uh, that respectful time to to be at peace the other thing though is uh, what's important to me is the importance of water you know tan yolk it's a very important creek to us unfortunately today you know we're not able to fish in there in that creek anymore it's been destroyed and polluted and the fish don't spawn up uh, smith creek due to how much has been changed over the years and the last story or last moral from this story is the respect for women from that story from this story it's always been our way that when we as a community gather resources and you know back in the day it would be all the the wealth that we have the food and the berries and everything else that we would you know live off of it wasn't the men's job to collect it all and then to dish it out they would pass it off to the, to the women of the community and they would be in charge of reallocating all those resources to make sure everybody was fed everybody had resources everybody was cared for and protected and so those three main stories are very important 